It is a pleasure to welcome head football coach Bronco Mendenhall back into our True Blue studios. Good to see you. Good to see you. You had a really good weekend. Did it feel good? I did have a good weekend after all the anxiety building up to playing the option and traveling all the way to Atlanta was a nice outcome. So much to talk about. Before we get to how well the defense has been playing, there's this 17-year-old kid on your team who wasn't going to play a whole lot coming into the season, and here he is in the spotlight. He scores four times as Jamal Williams. Tell us something about him that we might not know. I'm not sure there's anything um, that he'd want me to share that you don't know, <laughs> but he has a fantastic sense of humor. Um, he plays with my kids home or away on the field before almost every game. He's fun-loving. He doesn't take himself too seriously. And I think that's maybe how he's adjusting to Provo um, so far. He may be closer to your kids' age than some of the guys on the team. He is. They, they, they play tag, and they're playing catch, and they're calling each other nicknames. And it's, uh, it's really fun to see. Um, but Jamal has a, a soft heart. Um, his mom and family travel to every game. You'll probably hear them no matter what stadium you're in. <laughs> She's very supportive. Um, but he's still a kid, and that's what's fun is because he's having a good time. He doesn't fumble. What is it about that? Some people do. He doesn't. Whatever it is, let's just keep doing whatever he's doing. <laughs> yeah, whatever secret remedy Exactly it is. right. You are one win away from getting back into the postseason, which you've established as a tradition at BYU since you've become head coach. Yeah, bowl eligibility is really a minimum tier at BYU. Uh, it is expected, as many other things are, and so... Um, we certainly are anticipating that as soon as possible, yet that's um, just one of a few more things we'd like to accomplish. I, I'd like our team to finish stronger um, in every game that they play and then concluding with a, a nice postseason game in, in San Diego, hopefully against a very good opponent where we continue to play well. Were you most satisfied as the head coach or as the defensive coordinator coming out of Saturday? Oh, that's a close one. Um, I still think as the head coach um, to see our offense continue to make improvement. I've seen signs of improvement for quite some time, even though the rest of the world might not have seen it by scoring, et cetera. I've still seen progress being made. But to have our entire team experience some success and to see the smiles on their faces on the sideline, man, that, that's really a good feeling as a leader. And then shortly thereafter, or trailing right behind that, would be the defensive performance. So that was, at least under that particular coach and his system, they hadn't been held without a touchdown in four years, and it's hard to do. Next time out will be the Idaho game in two weeks. That is senior night, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and you'll start to say goodbye to, to some of these guys. Let's start with a couple. Brandon Ogletree has been your leading tackler for the last couple of years. He might not get the hype and the headlines as some of his colleagues out there. He just makes plays. What about Brandon Ogletree? Brandon is, is um, I would say, the reason we're playing defense the way we are. He just uh, only knows one speed. He only knows one speed in practice. He only knows one speed in walkthroughs in the meeting room. He just... He loves to play, and he, he asks that of his teammates. And, um, man, am I glad we recruited him, or he recruited us, I should say. Looking at some various plays from defense. There's a big tackle from Ogletree. Ziggy Ansah, number 47. You got him late. You're going to have to say goodbye to him here pretty quick. What about Ziggy? Ziggy is, is one of the most phenomenal stories that I've ever been part of. Um, I've just shared a small part of his life, but he has. This is just the beginning of what he's going to do. If he chooses to continue to play, He'll play for a long time, and he's fast, he's big. Much like Jamal, doesn't take himself too serious, always smiling, kind of a jokester in a quiet, subtle way, but just so much fun to be around. One of Kavanga starts his career at USC, finishes it at BYU, and, and he was all over the field on Saturday. I still remember Wona um, not only uh, committing to me in my office, but then not coming to BYU, and then we're practicing for a bowl game in Las Vegas, and Wona shows up, and I remember walking around the track with him after he'd been released from USC, and uh, him expressing an interest in wanting to come to BYU, and uh, I'm glad he's been here. Riley Nelson, mm -hmm. hard to believe, will play his last home game. Yeah, Riley is, uh, is one of a kind, um, a competitive spirit that's unmatched, um, nothing he really won't do to try to make a play, and very confident, um, absolutely loves um, being in the heat of battle and loves to lead. Do you wish, if you could look back, that maybe you'd arrested him for Utah and Boise mm. State earlier with that injury or, or what? Man, really hard to say. Um, you know, I, I've never doubted anything that Riley could or couldn't do. Right. And so even though he was hurt, to consider those two opponents, Boise and, and Utah, and to say go into, go into those games without Riley that early in the season as our senior and captain and starter at quarterback, 
I thought any version of Riley would might be better than, than anything else, not as a, um, an insult to our other qu our quarterbacks, just that our team was expecting him to lead us. As you look ahead to when Taysom Hill comes back and you see that schedule waiting for you in 2013, do you need to systematically change that offensive scheme mm -hmm. or can your quarterbacks run as much against those defenses that are coming? Our quarterbacks can run as much if we do a more effective job of having them absorb first downs without trying to run someone over. Yeah. I mean, sometimes just getting to the sticks and going down is better than two or three more yards. And especially when you're looking at sustainability as a program and for our quarterback. So defending a quarterback that can run is more difficult, and I like that part. But to this point, we have not yet effectively educated them well enough just as to, you know, no tackles against you are good. And if you can avoid them, avoid them. Field goal kickers never get a lot of love when they're making kicks. They do get a lot of heat when they're missing kicks. And the last two years, especially this year, there's been uh, a big concern in that area. Where do you go as you look for, for the years ahead? Well, we've, we've, first of all, I look at myself and I look at our organization and I look at our practice model and I look at the instruction and coaching that's being given and all of those things can still improve. We yeah. have made significant progress, I'd say, the last three weeks just with the amount of volume we're getting in practice, the circumstances we're putting uh, Justin in, and now it's just a matter of consistency of continuing to do that. I think we started a little too late. Uh, Justin was hurt. We were trying to manage that. I made right. some probably some organizational uh, decisions that weren't to his benefit in terms of volume, um, but certainly um, if anything else just changed this particular year and coming in the upcoming years against more difficult opponents, a field goal here or there yeah. um, changes a lot. In lieu of the win against Georgia Tech, will you be giving out better treats Wednesday night uh, to the trick-or-treaters? <laughs> my, my Halloween treats aren't conditional on, uh, <laughs> on uh, our wins and losses. That's, home is kind of a sanctuary. However, in the film session today, uh, in terms the players might find a little something Halloween-ish rather than just a scowl from the head coach. That's a great idea. Coach, yeah. thanks for coming in. Thanks a lot.